staying within planetary boundaries is a, is, a, is a top geopolitical priority for the world today. One world, nine boundaries, one message. Human well-being is in danger. We need to act now. To allow future generations to live in dignity and peace, humanity needs to operate within a safe operating space. I would argue that there has to be a global scale definition of planetary boundaries and, uh, and a control. But then the challenge is, of course, to be able to downscale it to a nation or a business to say, what share of the planetary boundary am I as a business or I as a country responsible for? Global demands require global answers. We need to make fundamental changes towards a sustainable economy and society. Relevant sectors such as civil society, the private sector and politics have been applying the concept and have started to put it into practice. What we as Global Footprint Network provide is a resource accounting tool to build that bridge where you say there's a planetary budget, how much do we draw from that and where does it go to to support current economic activities so we can then inform risk assessments and decision making to make where should we put our money. And with this concept we can now see the end limits of the planet, calculate back what is the free operating space and help companies but also governments uh, to stay inside that free operating space. There are so many win-win situations. For example, we at Siemens, our own carbon neutral program, it's a positive business case. So it's much easier to convince basically senior management on environmental matters when you create, can create a positive business case with it. Uh, World Business Council for Sustainable Development developed Action 2020 based in part on the planetary boundaries framework. So in terms of target setting, there's been quite a number of, I think, successful experiments. In terms of action, though, I think we've got a long way to go. The concept provides many opportunities but cooperation across sectors and governance levels is highly needed. I'm optimistic that there's a lot of different activities going on, but we need exactly something like framing uh, ideas, framing concepts. It was a talk about narratives, and we need, of course, structured, consistent policies which orient towards such concepts. It's many, many years back since Pentagon pointed out that climate change is a larger threat to humanity than terrorism. Well, transgressing planetary boundaries is a geopolitical question that has to be in the foreign policy agenda. So I would like to see actually planetary boundaries moving out of the environmental political domain into the foreign policy domain. It's absolutely clear that the planetary boundary framework is the most powerful way of understanding humanity's challenge in the 21st century. If we put it together with social boundaries, We've got the beginning of a new paradigm. What we now need to do is communicate that so clearly and persuasively that it becomes irresistible to the world.